Within mathematics, there are often not many methods to remove exponents. Modular arithmetic and logarithms may help, but one lemma has the ability to seemingly remove the exponent. This lemma is appropriately called the lifting the exponent lemma, or LTE. At its basis, LTE is something like this. For any odd prime p, choose any two integers x and y, which are not multiples of p, but their difference is divisible by p. In addition, let n be any positive integer. Let the function v sub p of a describe the number of factors of p and a. Then we have the following. A similar equation can be found if we replace y with negative y, which in this case x plus y must be divisible by p and n is odd. There are also some other variants which will not really be covered in this video. For the time being, take a second to understand these equations. Note that when n has no factors of p, v sub p of n is 0. This results in the following simpler equation, which we will prove first. As x to the n minus y to the n is a difference of powers, we can factor out x minus y like so. Now, it just suffices to prove that this has no factors of p. Recall that one of our conditions is that x minus y is divisible by p. This means that x is equivalent to y mod p, which means that we can substitute x in for y when we take this expression mod p. When the expression is simplified, we are left with n times x to the n minus 1. This has no factors of p, since neither n or x are multiples of p, which ultimately proves our claim. Now, let's move on to the actual proof of LTE. We will use induction on the number of factors of p and n, or just v sub p of n. Our base case is the following. To prove this, we work backwards a bit to simplify the equation. Similar to before, we can factor out x minus y from x to the p minus y to the p, giving us this. Notice that v sub p of the product of two numbers is equivalent to v sub p of each number added together which allows us to simplify even further. We can then remove v sub p of x minus y from both sides, giving us the following. This equation basically states that there is exactly one factor of p in this expression. We just need to prove it is true. We can do so by analyzing this expression mod p squared. We start by letting y equals x plus k p, where k is an integer and substitute that. We then do a term-by-term -term analysis. Notice that each term of the expression is of this form, where e is an integer from 1 to p minus 1 inclusive. If we expand this term, we get the following. A lot of these terms are multiples of p squared, which we can remove, leaving us with this. Simplifying more, we get the following. Putting all of these back into our expression, we get a bunch of x to the p minus 1 terms, as well as kpx to the p minus 2 terms. We can collapse the x to the p minus 1 terms into a single term. The kpx to the p minus 2 terms have coefficients of 1, 2, 3, all the way up to p minus 1, which we can also simplify. Since p is odd, p minus 1 over 2 is an integer, which means this term is equivalent to 0 mod p squared. Looking at our simplified result, we see that it only has one factor of p, since it is not equivalent to 0 mod p squared, proving our claim and ultimately our base case. Going back to LTE in general, note that we can describe n as p to the a times b, where b has no factors of p. This gives us the following. Since b has no factors of p, we can simplify this into the following. Now, we can pull out an exponent of p like so, and use our base case to simplify it. If we keep pulling out exponents of p until we can't anymore, we get this. Since a is equivalent to v sub p of n, we are done. Notice that earlier we needed the condition that p is odd, so that p minus 1 over 2 could be an integer. The only prime that is not odd is 2. And LTE does actually exist for p equals 2. There are two versions, though, depending on whether or not n is odd. And these are shown here. 
Since the proofs for these used similar concepts to the proofs for when p is odd, we won't prove these in this video. Thanks for watching.